Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Right. They're, bring, they're, they're doing a bit of damage, but he's, he's mostly ignoring the poles. Which is good. So now I want that one. And then... I'm going to rotate that round. And I want to make sure that that joins up to the current power and there. Right. So my robots are going to come out and they're going to drop all of those down. I need to connect them. Why aren't they connected? They should be connected. Why aren't my robots connected? Right, that one's out now, but... Okay, that was weird why they weren't connected. I, I don't know why they weren't all connected up. They should have been. Now, I'm going to take this one here. Uh, we've, we've got a couple of other robots coming along to do stuff there. I'll do that. And just grab a few of them. And there we've got a little red thing coming up. Just to say that we've had a few things going on there. I get my own robots going back into that. And some more over there. And then some more here. And essentially, I'm just going to keep going like this until I've picked up all of the things that I just dropped down. Which shouldn't be a problem. It's only a small patch that I've got. Right, job done. There we go. So there's that first bit done. Then I want to go back over to my tank over here and uh, hop back into that one. Oops. I'm going to go that way. And we're going to head north now through the trees and we're going to go up to the other one up there. So I can go and get that worm that is left. To go like this. It's quite slow going trying to hack your way through the trees with the tank. But I must say I do really, really love the fact that I no longer have to do this with a... Um, uh, I, I no longer, it no longer gives me any damage, right? I love the fact that we no longer take damage from driving around with the tank. So I'm just going to stop that one there. And then I'm going to get the tree deconstruct. And I'm going to rip all of those trees out there. I'm going to do the same down here a little bit further out. A uh, nice patch now. The worm is up there. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to take out a patch. And I go like that. And also remove a patch. So I got a lot of robots coming up to remove things, and then I'm going to do that there. Is that going to be... Okay, that's all of my robots busy working. Alright, so I've, I've got a lot of space here. That one's... He's, he's getting angry. You can see him getting angry over there. He's getting ready to spit all over the place. He's getting really... He's, he's getting proper wild, he is. Okay, it does reach quite a way. Let me go up there and get another load of trees. Like that. He's really getting quite upset about this, isn't he? Okay, we want to drop that one there. We want to drop that one there. And then I want to drop one over there like that. And then I want to get this one... Here, this blueprint. And I want to drop that down there like that. And it should, my robots should go through and drop the whole thing down. I need to make sure I... I think possibly last time it didn't work properly because I was too far away from it. So I had some orders put through by robots that weren't mine. So now it can come in like that. It very quickly takes that worm down. No issues whatsoever. I haven't got anything else left on his island. So we've done just... It was just a little brief test just to see how it works out. And we can now allow this one to start, keep expanding out up to there. And that bit will be taken care of. This here is a much more serious issue. We've got actual bugs on that island. So we don't want to get anything onto that island. Once pollution starts, that's going to become a problem. So we kind of need to expand this out. Expand this as well. But make sure that we don't have anything on there. Now, it doesn't look like we've got anything crossing over onto the island. If we don't, if there's no connection back on this little bit back here, then it's going to be okay. We're go it's, it's all going to be good. I'm just going to gather up all of this lot a minute. I will pick every single little bit of that up and the timber as well. 
and those, and those three right there, plus a few trees, and we're all done. So I can come back down here. Now, wonderful though it is, I don't actually want to run around with that tank anymore. I mean, yeah, it's, it's great for creating a road. That is absolutely brilliant. What I do want to do is I want to come into here and I want to take this one, the robot design, and we're going to start running it through this here. So I need to drop that there. I actually want to go up by there. I want to put it up like that because this here, this, this line along here hasn't actually been placed down correctly. I think it was that it didn't get uncovered enough or something like that. So we're going to go through here. We're going to run this one all the way along. And just fill in all of the bits that didn't quite um, have the placement put down properly. And then once that's all been done there, I can go back over to the other side and we can do the, 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 the bit that runs all the way down the side as well. That nice and even. Right, so that's going up to there. Doesn't need to go any higher than that. And I can come over to this side. And I got you. You go right up to there and you go out onto that side over there. So that one goes, yeah, it's going out in that way. And then you, I bring you down a bit further. And I drop into here and I go around where those worms used to be once upon a time. When meant many, once upon a time, many years ago. Last week, a few minutes ago, where those worms used to be. So we'll come all the way down here now, and we're able to fill in the rest of these radar gaps that we've got. I'm going to bring that right the way down there, like that. And that's the outer limits on that. So we've got to let that bit fill in, then we can do another line and another line. And eventually, we're going to put a wall across there. I got there, but this up here, look, we've got more expanse that we can go up to up there, and I don't really want to expand up there yet, so we're going to leave that. I've then also got this line along here that I want to expand out, so I will set this one going as well, and that is simply just going to be a line along here where if everything is in place correctly, there'll be no shift clicking of any kind. I will simply drop the items down and they will all be in the right place except for that radar there that one's in the wrong place that one has to go these other ones are in the right place that's all correct uh, that one there needs to go and then that one there and I'll get rid of that pole as well that needs to go. I think that's all that needs to go from there. It was because that was the line that we put in originally to go along there to, like, rescue our robots that were running along there. We had robots that were running out of space, getting lost. Poor folks. Poor little critters. So I can put that there. I've got quite a few of these. Right, that one there, that needs to go. There's another elimination. And then that can go there. Actually, that's that's not an elimination at all. That's one that's got to stay there. All right. Deconstruct and then shift deconstruct. That cancels that. And I've got a new blueprint being put down over the top of it. So I don't need to worry about that one. And then all the way into here, that's already done. So we've got all the way over there. Then I want to come down here and I've got this side to do down here. So again, I don't actually need to do anything other than just click them down. I don't want to shift click any of these because I don't want to accidentally put any in the wrong spot. So I've got a nice lot of space on these. There and like that. And then on a bit more, and we put that in. Like that. Up another one. And you, that's actually... I just want to do that, just to join in that line there. 
And that's all beautifully joined in on there as well. So this island here, I've actually got room. I can do one more expanse outwards, I think. And we're not going to join that island. But we've got to be very careful with that. We absolutely do not want to connect the island. Because if we do, we've got a supply of actual enemies on there. Which is a serious, serious concern. Now what we have got is this down here. That's actually being sort of eaten away by the... All of the, um, the, what he calls, or all of the, um, uh, the radars that we got. The more radars we got, the further out this is going to expand all the way round on our map. So that's, that's a really good thing. We would like it to expand out as much as possible. So I'm going to do more expansion out this way. I'm going to keep going with this expansion that we're doing. So that one's going to go all the way down to there and... I will now start expanding it out over this way. So you here is not really going to benefit anybody, but I will do it anyway. And then I can come back in here, and that's all connected into there. Then I go up this way, and I start adding these bits in here. Like this. And i got to run this one all the way up. Oh, I say all the way up. I mean, yeah, there is an all the way up, but there's a big gap in between. So we have, it's, it's a sort of all the way up, but it's not quite as much as we have been doing previously. But I just want to, as long as I can cover this island, mostly with robo ports and stuff. Uh, I got a little bit there that is not going to work properly. And then I want to go on up this way and... Start the next bit here. And go to that one. And you get the idea. And then once we've done this, we're going to start the long walk back home. We want to head back to our home base next. That's the next on our list of things to do. Go to there. Um, up a little bit, maybe. Right, where are you? Ah, there. Drop that in there. It's, it's not quite matching up onto there, but it's it's close enough. That's, that's the best that we're going to get, I think. Bring that one out onto... Yeah, that, that is about the best that we're going to get for a minute. Okay. Done. I've now got a line going all the way around there. It's going to be connected in. I've got a line all the way around that one there. An extra bit along there, an extra bit down there. So we've, we've got loads of extra bits being connected in, and it's still... Eating away on this, and this is what we want. We want all of this here to become uncovered. If that could be uncovered, it would give us some great insight as to whether that island is on its own. If it is, excellent. We just need to keep the island on its own. So long as that island stays on its own, it's never going to be a problem for us. It's never going to become an issue so long as it can stay there on its lonesome. Now, we've got the track all the way down here. That we went through. Oh, there it is. I was looking for where we also went through with the tank. So we just want to run straight along here. We've got a nice highway that we can run all the way back into here. Like that. And start heading back towards our house. Uh, what's going to be our next big thing that we're going to want to do? I'm just, I'm just wondering if I need to stop off anywhere to like build any more trains or anything. I don't think so. We've got plenty of uranium ore coming in now. There are no shortages of that. Um, the whole process here is going absolutely beautifully. It's keeping everything going flat out on there. And in here, those two are filling up absolutely wonderfully as well. If I look in here, I've got 95 uranium ore. I've got 24,238. And 2,500 uranium fuel cells. And then further down... Oh. At the moment, I've got no 235. But, I mean, it's saying that. I do actually have loads of 235. Each of these requested chests, they've got loads. Uh, they've got absolutely loads in there. So that, that's working as well. It's very good to see that all of the concrete has now been put down. We've got concrete right the way across our entire base. Now, at some point... These should all have speed modules put into place. It's going to take a little while before they get them. They're on their way, mind. I've got 655 speed modules currently missing. 
That's all. And that's a huge, huge improvement from what we've had previously. The next thing that I'd like to do is I want to get these robot highways completed along this train line over to here. Because like that uranium there, that's going to be extracted via robot. And I've got... We haven't actually got anything else. We've got that one being... Uh, it will be extracted via robot. That's already being... Um, and then we've got some down here that are being extracted via robot. But we don't at the moment. There's not very much happening via robot just yet. So it's, it's kind of things that are going to be happening but aren't quite getting there yet. Um, most of what I'd like to have done with robots, it needs to be out this way. We want to have it out along this line and then everything connected into there so that we actually start using the robots properly. We've now reached the point where we're just not using all of our robots. I've got 42,000 available robots out of 75 right now. So yeah, we're using a lot of them. But we're not using anywhere near as many as we could be. So we're going to start off by dropping in a cable in there. So that side is done. And then I'm going to clear this bit down to there. Remove a few from that bit right there. And then I'm going to go with a, another copy of robots. I'm just going to copy this little bit here. Right, I'm just going to take those 14 there. And I'm going to drop them in like that. And then that bit will go to there. This one will all need to be removed. And then we've also got to have this one, the robot power bit. Now, I've got that one running down there. So we don't need to have too much of a one. I just That's all I need to do. So just drop those in there. And then they will start powering all of these. So next up, we've got to get rid of this bit in here. It's going to be a general deconstruction. I'll just go like that. Just going to clear those out of the way. I've got no additional robots that I've just picked up with that. So that's good. That's a, that is a very good thing. And then I'm going to go along here and I'm going to remove these. Like that. So that line there is not actually going to be beneficial. I'm going to do this like this look. Because those there, they're not benefiting me at all. I've got those under there. These here, they come down into that one, but I'm going to be removing them. So essentially, everything that is running along to there is useless. So I'm going to start from up there. And I'm going to run all the way out here. And I'm going to go on past where it currently is. I'm going to go right out to the edge of the track and a bit further. And run all the way over to here. I'm going to drop it down to that point. I'm not going to go lower than that just yet. I'm going to stop it that. So this line along here will keep its power. All the way along here. It should keep its power. Uh, it might not. There might be a little bit of a complication there somewhere. But there shouldn't be anything in the middle that now needs power on that. Uh, I look in here. We've got a few trains queuing up coming in. But they're doing pretty good. Right, they queue up there, they come on in. That one there, he's got nothing on it. Neither. So I've got a few trains coming backwards and forwards with nothing. But again, that, that doesn't really matter, as long as they can keep running into here. The only thing that I'm thinking of doing now is putting a second track in here, so that perhaps the trains can um, sort of spread out and then go across some of these. I don't know if that's going to be helpful or not. Whether I have two lines of tracks coming in here. So we've we've kind of got them spread out between the two. But I don't really think that's going to make a big difference. Honestly, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Now, next up, I want deconstruction planner. I need to go into here like this. And I'm going to remove all the robo ports in the middle. And I'm going to go along and do this on individual ports like this. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up removing the wrong things unless i'm very careful and i look all the way along as i go i don't want to accidentally like remove any um tracks or anything like that that we don't want removed so if i go along and do it like this we will be able to get rid of everything that we don't want if that's as far as i want to travel on there and then i've got the same up here i've got i want to extend this line out a little bit 
So I'm going to take that one, and it's going to go up that high. And it's going to go along here, and it's just going to finish up the last of those. It's going to go out to that point right there. I'm going to take those out, and then deconstruct, remove those there, that one, that one in there, you and you. Right. So that's those bits taken out. There. Then, you know, I can stay in map mode for this. Then we can go with a copy and... Oh, wait a minute. You know, the only downside to this is that I forgot to actually measure out where exactly... No, I haven't. Well, I have forgotten to uh, measure it out exactly. So it's... There is the minimum. I can go lower than that, but no higher than that. That would probably be the best spot to do it, actually. If I go all the way along here, if I've got any other ports, that's too high, that one is. I know that one's too high, and I don't have anything else that matches up. Except that bit does match up absolutely perfectly. So we'll go along here. I've got a port right there. So I can't go any higher, but I could go one full port lower if I wanted to, like that. And that would fit in with that one. And then if I go all the way out over this side, over to here, like that, that fits perfectly on there as well. So I've, I've got a choice. I can either have it here on this line, or I go one exact line higher. And put it up there a bit. I'm going to put it here, I think. I'm going to go like that. It's going to go there, like that. And now all I need to do is... Extend this out all the way along here. So next, I'm going to go with copy, and I'm going to copy that bit back there like that. And then I've got 38 of these in a line. That is a lot of robo ports that we're requesting. I've also gone and put down a massive chunk of robo ports already right the way across the map. So I know I've got a lot of robo ports being requested over everything. But I also know that it is absolutely, definitely, certainly worth it. Drop that lot down there. See, the great thing about this is that they should, if I've done this correctly. Yes, they line up beautifully with the top line. And they should do that all the way down through. There should be no issues whatsoever with them lining up. I need to there. And on out again. And it goes across the next bit of track like that going to try and change anything. I don't want any of these looking any different to what they are right now. I will just get rid of those over there so that I can bring the line out up to that point there. Um, I could actually remove those. Because I've removed that line there. Oh, there's only a few of them. Yeah, we'll get rid of those six. There, yeah, they're gone. And then I can come down to here, and I can go back to paste, and I can bring that one. That's as far out as I can go, so I drop that one there like that. So that is now a full line all the way back through, and I've got a lot of robo ports already in position on there. And then I want to go back into here, and I want to take the robot power line there, and that fits perfectly onto there. And it fits perfectly onto there. So then I can rotate that one round and I can drop it here. And then all i got to do is just keep running that all the way up through here. And that is going to get me a line right up to the other end. And it's going to install all the power. You can see that we've got a lot of robo ports from storage being brought out and dropped in here. So I've got that one there. Drop down. That might actually be a problem there. That one's not going to get power. This one over here, that one's going to have power on there. But this one, yeah, I've got one there that's not going to get power. So I'm going to have to just drop that small... Well, I could drop a big pole in there, couldn't I? It just doesn't fit onto that one, that's all. It'll go back there by one spot. That's okay. That'll fit. Oh, wait. No, yes, it will, because that one will come across the bottom there. See? And then it will join onto here, so it will go all the way around. It's just that one there that it's not going to get. So at the moment, we're all good. 
It's getting across, as long as we can get across these railways, everything is wonderful. And that there, that goes right the way across without any issues at all. I like that. And keep going. I'm going to do the same on the lower line as well. I'm going to take it out. I, I'm Well, first of all, I'm going to extend the upper line above us. That one's going to go all the way out the complete distance. And then when I've done that, then I will do the lower line all the way through. So that we've got proper robot highway going the full distance. And look at the roboports that we've got here. I still got 1,600 roboports in storage. Right, we've, we're making absolutely boatloads of those things. Uh, wait a minute. Right, stronger explosives is done. We want to end energy weapons damage four. Start research. There's 2,000 of each of those. Start slowly filling up all of these. Rocket silos and things like that. We're going to be starting to seriously consider things along those lines now. Right, those are now starting to come up as serious considerations for things that we're going to be wanting to build. Right, here's the next line. And then that line there goes right the way across the railway again, which is absolutely fantastic. It's always good when it sort of just drops into place for you. Right, that's always a good thing when it just, just falls in, everything falls into place. Right, there we go. That's gone all the way through to there. So next, I want to come back over to this bit over this side. I've already removed the roboports from the equation. So all i got to do is bring these over and start pacing. I've got those bits up there. Uh, those. And I want to remove some of these. Right. I don't have any power issues up there. That's all looking good. And then over to this side, I've got no power issues over there either. So that's... Those there aren't actually joined in. All right? None of those are. Not there. Oh, th that one is. But these here. Th those nine aren't. That, one, that line there is joined in. That one is. This one is not. And then that's out on the end of it. Okay. Let's tidy that up a little bit. Oops. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to map. I'm going to come whizzing out over here. I want to go up to there. And I want to go to paste like that. And start dropping this lot down. And here, I've got a few more gaps in it. But again, it doesn't actually matter. So long as we've got a nice long line like this, we can just keep this pattern going all the way through. All right? There's no harm in that. And I'll take you, and I'll put you all the way through as well. So that's going to fill in all of the gaps that we've got with the roboports at the moment. And it goes across that bit without any trouble. And it goes across that one as well without any trouble, even better. And then I can go back through here like this, and just finish off those few. And over to there. Let's go one more. Just make sure that it all joins up. Right, excellent. That's fantastic. And there is two robo highways all the way through over to that side. So let's drop back down to here. So I've now got a robot highway that runs all the way along. I'm not actually using that at the moment. I just want to get it installed so that it is ready for when we want to start using it. And that could be sooner rather than later. So I'm going to bring that one down to there. Like that. This bit over here, we need to get rid of those lines like that. Don't go any closer than that for a minute. Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.